Hey guys, it's Wes back here with another video. I am continuing my DIY. Um, and today we are doing a glacier mask. Um, there is a wrestling event that was supposed to be in my area. Or I want to say in my area, but uh, about an hour away. Um, that glacier was supposed to be there. Um... They did postpone that event because of the uh, the virus, of course. Uh, it's still taking place in July. Um, he's still advertised for that, so hopefully he'll show up. But it's supposed to be uh, Glacier, uh, the Headbangers, and the Powers of Pain. I see got a magazine over there. I got uh, the Barbarian. I needed the Warlord. Uh, I wouldn't mind meeting the Headbangers, I guess. Um, but yeah, Glacier, I definitely liked him. Uh, Moral Chronic was a good game. Uh, his character was basically basically based off of Sub Sub Zero. Um, anyways, let's get into it. Uh, I am in my room right now, so it is raining outside. I usually do these videos outside, but uh, it is windy. It is rainy, so but no problem because I need my uh, TV here for a reference. So, uh, anyway, so what you'll need is, uh, you know, mask itself. Um, went ahead and just bought a Sub-Zero mask. Um, so it's going to be like a combination of, uh, Sub-Zero and Glacier, really. Um, as you can see on there, his is like a cloth. So uh, there's no way he could autograph it and, and I could put designs on it. So I decided to get this. I found this called, I found this on a site called a S S T, I believe E S T Y. Um, it was 25 bucks. Um, it was actually the cheapest one I could find. eBay was selling it for around 35. I think Amazon was like 40 and everybody else was 45 plus. Um, as you can see, this is like a 3d printed material. Which I thought was pretty cool, so I never had a 3D printed item before, so it's pretty smooth. I do like the blue on it. it looks looks pretty similar to it, so uh, yeah. So you're gonna need that. Um, need some paint markers. Uh, it's only two colors, so I'm gonna use silver, silver and black. Uh, just got your paper to test your paint markers and then hopefully uh, hopefully I don't get confused this is all the masking tape I got but hopefully I don't get too confused I need scissors of course and then for some reason and I mean it didn't on on that website or on that page where I bought it from and it show like an elastic band as you can see it does have holes where you can put one through I didn't came with one but uh actually went to my mom's and she actually had some uh laying around in there so I'm gonna go ahead and put a like an elastic band around it too show you guys how to do that um anyway so basically what I'm gonna do see if I can get closer um see if I can move the mouse so basically with this, I'm going to use that first, you see that first silver, uh, right there where the mouse is pointing, that first silver line there, that goes all the way across there. Basically, it's going to go on the edge of this here, all the way around, and then this part right here, Right in here, it will probably be more towards down here, so he can autograph it here. And then, yeah, the lines that go across will obviously go across here. And then, uh, yeah, that's really about it. I am going to leave a little space for the black, because this does got a black outline. So, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and mask out, mask it out first, and then I'll be back. All right, so I'm done masking the first, uh, the top of the line here. I don't know if you guys can tell. Uh, there's definitely is a color difference, so, between the, 
my masking tape and the mask. Uh, if you were to, uh, I'd probably suggest like a tan masking tape or something if I was you guys, but this is all I had on hand. But yeah, I just went ahead, uh, yeah, right there on the top. It's like a eighth of an inch. So basically from that to the end there will probably be black. Right here obviously will be silver. And I just went all the way around best I could. Try to match it up. Um, I think the hardest part is like that indent there if you can see it. Will be pretty hard. And I'm going to go ahead and check out my marker. I think I'm going to do the black outline last. Just because... But I'm going to go ahead and do the silver. I'm going to do silver all the way around there on the mask. And then quickly take the tape off. So that will be my next step. And uh, I'll be back. Alright guys. I went ahead and colored my uh, the mask there. I don't know if you can see it. It turned out pretty decent. Actually, uh... I was getting worried at first because of the marker because you can kind of see how it's not like too smooth. But uh, it looks pretty good. Again, I did have a hard time in that area there and you know, all the bumps. I'm not sure what I'm going to do there. But other than that, it looks pretty good. So yeah, see where it's like silver and the blue right there? Right there, I'm going to paint that all black all the way around there right along those lines so that would be pretty cool um i think the next step um probably gonna do the uh, uh closer part of those lines right there like right yeah Right there and right over here, maybe. So I'll do the front of the face mask first. But I'm going to go ahead and connect that all the way down. I'm going to go ahead and let this dry for about uh, 10 minutes or so. Because again, I'm going to have to go down here. Boom. Boom. I go all the way across here. This is probably going to be the hard part right here is this. So... Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and mask those lines up real quick, and I'll be back. Alright, here's a masking tape for that line down there. So go straight down. And then I just added to see where it kind of uh, leaves that little and then there it doesn't go all the way down but so let me go ahead and paint in between that silver and i'll be back okay here's that silver line down <laughs> it looks really good i'm really surprised how this is coming out so so basically from like where my thumb is all the way out it's going to be like a black outline black basically all that silver is going to be on the outline it's going to be black including that there black but yeah it actually looks pretty good so kind of like i don't know if you can see the lines out there kind of got under the uh, tape there it'll basically be straightened out with that black marker there basically so so yeah i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna go ahead and do the lines across there like uh sorry like yeah that one and this one i'll probably have one i don't know probably at the bottom here and probably one towards the middle. Again, the middle is going to be hard since it's all indented there. So, one will go across there. And then we'll almost be done with the silver. So, yeah, let me go ahead and mask the uh, the middle lines here. 
and I'll be back. All right, so here is the uh, two silver lines I'll be painting here across. Uh, this one was pretty hard. Let me see. So basically that will be painted and that will be painted. Again, it's going to look weird because of those bumps right here. So. Anyways, we'll see how it looks. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and paint that silver and uh, I'll be back. Alright, went ahead and filled in all the lines. I uh, will say it looks pretty it's pretty decent. I really like how it came out all the way across. I like how it indents right there, just like how it does up there. You can see right in there. Right in there. Came out good on both sides. And then as you can see, you know the indent is pretty, uh, it is what it is on that. But, uh, go ahead and we'll do that part right there. Probably more towards over here. And that's really probably about it for the, uh, silver. So, go ahead and do that. Mask it up and I'll be back. Alright, so here is the first line there. Kind of towards the bottom there one side one side i'm not gonna go all the way through i'm just gonna go probably halfway to where that indent is so probably about there because it kind of curves so that's going to be the hard part there i'll figure it out but i'm gonna go ahead and silver that out and i'll be back all right so here's that line painting in on that side and this side so i'm gonna go ahead and do kind of angle it to that point there because it kind of makes like a almost like a triangle there so i'm gonna go ahead and mask that off and i'll be back all right um so this part's harder than i thought it was gonna be i'm just gonna go ahead and take my marker and do my best and just go along the lines right here because it just keeps confusing me right now so same for that side i'm just gonna do my best and maybe uh just a tip length tip length just all the way through i'm gonna go ahead and do that and i'll be back all right i'm done with that looks pretty good actually added a line right there down and right there down because if you can see right there at the end um so yeah i am officially done with the silver marker um did look pretty good i'm gonna go ahead and get the uh black marker ready i'm gonna go ahead and outline uh basically all the way around the edges of the silver and then uh as you can see, it's got like black dots on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and add those best I can. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And basically it'll be done once I'll be back. So hold on a second. All right, so here is the, basically the finished product yeah, with the black outline and a couple of the black dots. Um, looks really good. I really surprised how how it came out really um definitely looks good let me see if i can compare it here let's see i mean yeah it looks i like it let's see yeah it looks pretty good um yeah i'm gonna go ahead and put the elastic on and uh that's basically about it so give me a second here all right so here's a finished product went ahead and uh actually went over to my mom's and she actually stitched it for me here 
That was really nice of her. Um, just told her just to, you know, do your best on it. I didn't need nothing advanced. I'm not really going to wear it. It's just there for display, you know. I'll just hang it somewhere, you know. You know. Um, but, yeah, that's really about it. Um, so, yeah, with the mask, the two markers, masking tape, you're probably looking around uh, probably under 30 bucks for sure. Uh, sounds like a lot, but that mask ain't cheap. I can't find it for nowhere cheaper than 25 you know. Excuse me. But, uh, yeah, it looks really good. Hopefully he likes it. Probably going to have him sign on one of the sides. Maybe have him uh, personalize it or something on one side and have him sign on the other. I'm sure he'll like it. Um, anyways, guys, um, enjoy. Hope you enjoy this DIY. Uh, it was pretty tedious, so take your time on it. Um, next, I'll do a little slideshow like I always do. And anyways, you guys have a good good time. Be safe and have a good one. And uh, enjoy the slideshow. Thank you.